Hey YouTube, how are you? It's your girl Simply Love, and welcome to my channel. I want to thank each and every one of you um, with that last video and the video before that that I made. You guys um, showed me a lot of love by the comments you made and you know the thumbs up that you gave me. Put the video out there even more. Um, more uh, subscribers come aboard welcomes I'm gonna do a video after I do this one explaining myself and what I do what I what my plans are and um, uh, you know how uh, energies change and things like that so readings change along with the energies along with the time so I'll get into all that in another video and I'm also asking you guys to uh, participate in something that I'm, a project that I'm going to be doing and I'll bring that out uh, once I'm done this video I'll put a whole nother video out explaining that so I don't have to you know go on and on okay but welcome you newbies there out there I really appreciate you um, my subscriber count went up in two weeks uh, over 2,000 that's a lot of subscribers <laughs> at one time so I'm thrilled to death because of that I really am no I don't show my uh, subscriber count it's like I don't have I got a bunch you know but you know I just feel like that to me personally the reason why I do it is because I feel like it takes the energy away from you know you um, tell, do, telling the truth I want to always put the truth out there from what my angel gods are saying the Holy Spirit and the ancestors and I feel to me it's just me I don't, I don't know about anybody else I just feel like sometimes you know uh, viewing that all the time will, will kind of like take you or pull you pull you away from being real because you'll all of a sudden start focusing on how many subscribers you have and and then you'll start thinking well in order to keep them here or to have more I need to tell lies and you know stuff I feel like that that kind of stuff uh, gets comes into play it's like you start worried about the wrong things which are nothing what numbers not that I don't appreciate because I do I appreciate each and every one of you want to subscribe you know I really do and the main thing for me is the like button, okay? And and for a, a lot of tarots, if you you know, we do put out our energy, a lot of energy out, and especially around this time, okay? We put a lot of energy out um, to help you guys. You know, we know that it's not going to resonate to each and every one of you, but we we are trying. You know, we're doing our best here, and um, all I ask is for you to hit that like button. Uh, I don't ask for donations, never have. You can look at every one of my videos. I don't ask for donations. I don't want you to give me donations because I'm the one that created this channel. My father always told me, uh, be responsible for whatever it is that you create or you do. Be responsible for it. You're, you're not supposed to put your responsibilities or ask anyone for anything. If you're doing the right thing, spirit is going to be the one taking care of you. That's how I... Um, that's how I feel when it comes to things like that. The only thing I ask is for a like, and that's nothing. That don't cost you nothing to hit that like button or the share button. I uh, love you guys' comments as well. I always reply to your comments, so I like all of that. I, I like having personal private readings with people as well. I really, really love that. Anyone that had a reading with me, I really appreciate you guys. And uh, those I get swamped with, and those is, is, is what I really, really get into because we're talking about a person's uh, life here. And um, when you're talk talking to someone, you're talking about their life, you, de you want to deliver the truth. You don't want to lead people on. You don't want to be fake because that stuff will come back on you. See, we're in a karmic energy right now where whatever you've done to people is going to come back to you. And that's for you. To, for spirit, that spirit saying and your ancestors saying don't take this lightly don't take life lightly you take it serious because your life is serious you know we have a plan they have a plan you have a reason and a purpose for being here okay that's why it's like that we have to learn to have balance and um and 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 love for each other okay and when we learn to love each other we won't hurt each other it's just that simple. Okay, let's get on with the reading. I'm outside in my backyard here. Y'all can hear the birds chirping. I stood out here for an hour and I meditated. And the birds were giving me. I was hearing the birds and I heard the words. Like it, they started turning into words as they were ch chiping. I got a bunch of birds out here. Uh, I got like a mini little... Uh, um, What do they call it? Like a, It's a mini 
over this way. It's a, I love woods. I grew up in woods as I was a child. My, my father built his house from like his hands with his own hands with help from others. And it was in a wooded area. So they cut the trees. Only the trees they cut was the, the part where they were going to build the home. The rest of the area was wooded. So we, I was all, I'm, I'm a country girl, okay? I got my shoes off right now. I'm always walking outside with no shoes on. Always got to feel the ground. I got to touch it. I love, I love nature in general. I love animals. They always come around me. I have a squirrel that comes around me right, right now. That squirrel is underneath my steps and it's just like, that's where it wants to be all day. So, um, I call him Chucky. I know that's Chucky because Chucky, it came for a little while, then he went away, okay? But then he came back, and he's underneath my um, uh, steps here. One time, he went and knocked on the door, okay? A bunch of beautiful birds fly around. I got rabbits, all type of animals. that they, A lot of them come up to me. So if y'all see something going on, a bird sitting on my shoulder or come flying by or, you know... <laughs> That's what they do to me, okay? That's what they do. They just come right up to me. Insects, everything, okay? The whole nine. Y'all let me know what that is. I don't know what it is, but, and I never took time to find out. All I know is, you know, I love it. They, you know, they, they, they my, they my homies. All right. They help me in my meditation. And like I said, the birds that I heard today gave, I wrote down all kind of words and I'm going to use them in this reading um if whatever spirit gravitates me to say here there's a bunch of words here I'm going to have to uh end up putting them on a card but I you know when I was when I was meditating that's what I heard and I jumped up out of my meditation ran in the house and got a piece of paper to pen and I just start writing it down because I what the words were saying that I heard so I know it was meant to be for this reading. So we're going to get on. We're at seven minutes here if y'all want to skip by this part. Again, I'll be putting out another video. Please have your bells on, you guys. You have to have your bells on in order to get notifications when things come up because I do a whole lot of stuff, okay? A whole, whole lot of stuff that I pop up and just do, okay? I'm not no planning person for some reason. I just don't like to plan. I just like if it comes, I want to do it, get it done, and then bam, I'm on to the next. That's how I operate here. So put your bells on. So here we go with a collective reading. I also want to know if you guys like the collective reading. Is it that that's what suits you better? Like on a weekly basis, just do a collective and karmics and divine meant because this is the stuff that's going on now. It's it's everything's getting cleared out and you want to know what needs you know what really these readings are messages for people but you know it's best to get your own personal private reading doesn't this have to be from me so whoever you feel comfortable with so you can get on track and let spirit know where you need to be because these are like i said it's not telling no you know your personal some people a lot of people told me oh you sound like you're talking about me my whole story this and that well it just could be okay that could be possible but it's not going to be for everyone okay so you know invest yourself find yourself a good reader and get the truth and clarity that you need for you homing in on your own um energies and your own ancestors and your spirit guides okay keep that in mind always that way you don't have to keep running back and looking at tarot readings all day. That's not healthy either because a lot of people are so sensitive that they take every single reading that come out personal. And that's crazy. You should not be doing that. That's crazy. It's craziness. That's insane. You don't want to drive yourself crazy. Okay. So invest in a personal reading for yourself. Okay. Let's get on here <laughs> with the collective. Whatever spirit wants me to do, divine, masculine, feminine, whatever comes out here is just going to come out, okay? And then I'll figure out the title later. <laughs> um, for some of you, I'm picking up an energy, and this is a karmic. I, this is karmics, okay? Because they're really going ham, okay? All we can do is just pray for them, okay? They, whatever they're going through, they put that through themselves, okay? Or any of us. Whatever we go through in life, we put it on our own selves. So we have to learn not to um, get in the way of the lesson of people. Stop trying to be a... I'm hearing this. Some of you need to stop trying to be saviors for everybody. 
Okay, you can't you can't save people. People, you're if you're trying to out here trying to save people, trying to change them, trying to make them into something that they're not or something that they're not ready for. You're enabling them, and then you that's karma right there. Whether don't it don't seem like it, it don't seem like it's right, but it is. Why? Because you are enabling this person to not learn their lesson by trying to change them or trying to make a situation happen so it can fit your, your needs. That's selfishness. That's selfishness there. That's not a good way to do people. Let, the, let them go. Let them learn their lesson. If they come back, it's meant to be. If they don't, it's not. I'm also hearing... Um, Heal yourself. Some of you need to heal yourselves, okay? Some of you need to take some time out by yourself. Some of you need to let go of something or someone that just keeps this cycle of uh, being a nuisance, I'm hearing. They're just a nuisance in your life, and, and it's, it's time to make that change. Like I heard, I'm hearing the song Michael Jackson, make that change, man in the mirror. So it's time to spend, you know, disconnect yourself. And spend some time with yourself, meditate, um, love on yourself, and it's what is going to happen. It can, it can heal you and your divine feminine, divine masculine. It can heal both of you by doing that. All right, you can. It's a certain amount of healing. It will also undisguise if this is your divine masculine or your divine feminine. It will unmask it. It will show you the truth. Because we're in the age of truth, okay, and clarity. That's why you see the uh, the the, the uh, tarot readers going ham ham on these people. They they're being exposed for who they truly are. They cannot carry on like this anymore. We're in the age of we're coming into the age of Aquarius, okay. We also have Aqu uh, Aquarius in Saturn, okay. So three years now that's going to be three years there we also have all these planets rotating we're going through a lot right now because the world is replenishing itself it's getting the river the old and the stubborn and the ones don't want to do nothing and causing mayhem and havoc on everybody else's life and they're just they're just throwing them in the garbage they're throwing them in the trash can because that's what they are trash they don't want to learn they don't not they had opportunity believe me these people had opportunities to, to learn stuff and to learn their lesson and to know how to treat people but they refuse to do it so it's trash can time okay your ancestors are like they're they're mad they're mad they're mad they're not going to be putting up with this this stuff that's going on any longer it's it's, it's exposure time it's exposure time so spirit what else you want me to say I'm hearing that some of you who have girls out here, girls or girls, you need to get them in check, okay? They're going a little ham out here, okay? They're kind of like being a little loose loosey. That's what I'm hearing Spirit say. They're being a little loose, and you need to get them in check. Don't pacify them. Don't try to be their friend. You need to be the mother or the father, to your child, especially when it comes to a girl, I'm hearing, a girl. It's time for the father to set an example for the, the girl, whether you're in their life or not. I know some of you aren't, but some of you are. If you're a father out here and you have a, a, a girl, it's time for you to set an example for your girl. You have to be the man that you want her to have in her lifetime so she can be okay so you don't have to worry about her so that means you got to be okay all right you can't set an example or tell a child what the what you know give them any kind of um guidance if you're not guided you know what i'm trying to say if you're not guided if you're off there you're out here going ham and you're doing all the wrong things how can you guide your child how can you guide your daughter or your son? It really doesn't matter, but I'm hearing about a lot of girls here that needs their father's attention. Whether you get along with the, whether y'all, it's not about you and whoever you had the child with. It's not about that. It's about this child you brought into the world, okay? You didn't have to because we you, there's protection out here. You didn't have to bring that child into the world. You could have wrapped it up or, lady, you could have put something where you wouldn't have children. Why? You know, and then turn around and go ham on somebody because they don't want to be with you, okay? 
That stuff has to stop here. We got children, innocent children coming in this world and they're getting dogged out because, because of your uh, selfishness. Okay? Now, I don't know who that message was for. Somebody. It's time to cut it out. Cut it out. And let's get it together. Let's work together as a team. Teamwork with these children. Show them love. Show them you care. Show them that they don't have to go through whatever you went through. Don't get mad at the child because you went through some shit. That's your, that was your choice and your decision. That child had nothing to do with it. I don't know who that message is for. You can, you know, hit the comment section and let me know whoever that message was for. And again, you fathers, let me tell you something like this. If you're out here treating uh, women wrong, doing the wrong thing, I mean, from, uh, relationships or whatever it is and expect that same thing to happen to I, i'm sorry to say this is what spirit's saying expect the same thing you do to women you uh, men that you do to women if you have daughters out here the same thing is going to happen to them you know why because you're carrying that negative energy that karmic energy that rude energy that mean energy and it's it's, it's uh vibrating to your children what you do vibrates to everybody else. Believe me, believe it or not. If you, if you don't believe me, look at your child's life and see uh, what kind of shape it's in. Okay? See what kind of shape it's in. It's in the same shape that yours is in. And that's because how you are treating someone else. You can't be an example if you, if you can't straighten up your act. And if you can't be an example, if you can't pull yourself together, then you can't do anyone else's. So think about that. Also for you know the women too. Okay, think about what you do before you, you got if you got children, you, you know you have to set an example for their future. You have to set them free. Regardless of what happened to you. You can set your own self free, but you know, don't take it out on an innocent person. I'm seeing the word blame. I've written that down too because I heard uh, the bird say blame like I feel like there's somebody dealing with somebody who, who plays the blame game. Please, like I said, leave your comments and let me know if this resonates. Y'all been doing that, and I appreciate it. Somebody who plays the blame game all the time, like no matter what happens, whether they were wrong, when, especially if they're wrong, if you call them out on it, they start playing the blame game, like blaming it on other people or acting like they didn't do it. I'm sensing like, a, oh, this narcissism is running rampant around here. Narcissists are running rampant. I'm telling you guys, be careful of the narcissist because you will never win with one of those, okay? They wear a mask. They wear a mask. They wear a mask. And some of you, I'm hearing that you're with a person who keeps a lot of secrets. They're very quiet. They like a smooth, they call it like a smooth, I'm hearing the word smooth criminal. There goes a spider. See how they just come around me? I don't know why. They just come around all kind of animals, all kind of little stuff around here. Um, yeah, uh, they're a smooth operator. They lie, lie, lie. They lie to you. And I've, I'm, I'm hearing uh, the uh, word uh, or see, uh, that I wrote down from the birds. Um, instincts like your instincts or your spidey senses is telling you this and i'm i'm feeling i'm hearing that spirit say you're pulling away or to pull away or just pull back and really catch the whole it's like you're in a position now to catch everything like you're going to pick up on red flags things like that red flag on the play all right you're going to have a lot of red flags a lot of uh um epiphanies about this person um, for somebody out there, I don't know who that's for. I'm going to use my deck here to start off with the uh, Karmic Confessions. That's a deck I got out as well. And I'm also here, I'm also seeing here the word, I, like I say, uh, secrets came out. Somebody's lying, they're deceitful, but they're wearing a mask. Uh, Spirit sends the back, back off. Kind of like slow your roll and don't tell them everything. Like, 
because they're kind of working you over. They're getting a when you tell them something, it, it, they compute it up here, and then they they use that to work you over some kind of way to manipulate. So don't tell anybody all your business. Don't tell all your business. That's what I heard Spirit say. I'm also seeing domestic violence, okay? Spirit says something about domestic violence. If you're in a domestic violence situation, somebody's putting their hands on you. They're not supposed to be doing that. You're not supposed to accept anyone putting um, their hands on you. Get some help. Get some help because that could be something that stumped stump from your childhood, okay? Somebody may abuse you when you were younger. I understand that energy, okay? And it, it, you got to get help for that. You really got to get help for that because you have to understand that you know, it wasn't your fault, especially if it happened in childhood. When you're in childhood, your mind is in development learning stages and you learn from your parents or people, whoever's around you, you learn from them. And if that happened to you with a parent when you were younger or whoever it may be, you have to understand it's not your fault and you have to get help to get that out of your subconscious mind. Because what you're thinking in your subconscious mind is, is that you're looking at love as, you know, being um, abused. So you, you got, conf you know, the way you were raised or taught or something like that or some whoever your abuser was that hurt you. They were manipulating you. They started you out when you were a child and what they did is put something in your subconscious mind as you got older made you think that abuse was love. So you're going to have to seek help to get that out of your subconscious mind, okay? That it all starts with you, whoever's going through that. Um, for somebody here, somebody's watching you, okay? You're being watched by somebody. Somebody is like really watching you in the background. They don't want you to know that they're watching you, but they're watching you, okay? Again, remember I talked earlier, we got a lot, we got some daddy issues going on out here with these girls. Please take care of your girls, guys. Take care of them. Watch over them. Let them know you love them. Set an example for them to something to go by for what a real man is all about. Or else these cycles are just going to keep repeating themselves throughout generation, throughout generation. Be the guy you want your daughter to have. These girls are hurting out here. They're hurting. They're hurting. If you can't be that, you know, stay out of their life. And, you know, whoever's in charge of you, the girls, the, the mother, whatever, see, get some help for your, your daughters. Or, or get, you know, if you're going to have guys or, you know, you're in a relationship with someone, you know, get someone who is going to steer your daughter in the right direction. Being that man. You know, and, and in order for that, you have to have the right type man. You have to have your, your, your other half next to you. You have to be on the same level. See what's going on now is karma for the karmics. Karma for the, for the karmics is going on right now. They're using magic and shit like that. They're putting magic out here. They're doing all the wrong things. Here, look, magic potions. But that's not working. You know why it's not working? Because they're getting uh, karma for it. Okay? So if they've been doing this in the past or getting people to do this, and even the people that uh, that they've uh, got to do it, they're seeking, they're getting karma too. Because you don't do things like this to people. You don't. See, some people have some pretend, they're out here pretending, okay, wearing masks, like, there's some people out here that's like, could be acting like your friend, you know, putting on this facade, but in each other's mind or in somebody's mind, they just, they, they, they hate you, they can't stand you, okay, they want what you got, they want to be you, that's what I'm hearing spirits say, they want to be you. You, you know, it may be both of y'all acting, two people acting like this, whether it's a male, female, acting like they're pretending like to, you're pretending to be friends or nice to each other. But look how y'all thinking about each other. You want to kill each other. OK, somebody's pretending to be a friend, but they deep down inside, they don't like you. OK, it could be the divine masculine or uh, a karmic here, a, a karmic energy. Yeah, here we go. Seek help. Here it is. 
seek help. They already said all this stuff. Somebody's into drugs or alcohol heavy and they need help. Not only just the help on some kind of drug or alcohol, it could be uh, a mental help. So for some of y'all know somebody's spending time in jail. It could be the divine feminine or the divine mask. It could be the karmic. It could be the karmic, okay, that's spending time in jail. And their time is running out. Somebody's time is running out here. It's like... Because whoever this karmic energy is coming in here from, they don't care who they use, okay, at this point. They're desperate. They're desperate, so they don't care who they use. They're all messed up, okay? They're, you know, they're backstabbers. Backstabbers, smiling in your face. All the time, want to take your place. The backstabbers. Somebody got caught cheating or going to get caught cheating. I was jealous of your relationship and wanted to break y'all up. <laughs> That's why they got caught cheating because they was wanting somebody was wanting somebody to catch them so they can uh, break up a relationship, but they don't want them. All right. Oh, man. Some of y'all not using protection. Y'all sleeping around. Them karmics are sleeping around with other people. Okay? Some of the karmics may be trying to get uh, pregnant by the divine masculine because they want them so bad. Okay? And the only reason why they want them is for their, the, because they're stable. That's the only reason why. There's no love there. Okay? There's no love there is what I'm hearing spirits say. They just, they, they, they desperate now. I told y'all they desperate. They're going to do anything to keep the, the divine masculine. The divine masculine is going to have to learn to be strong. You have to learn to be strong. You have to make up your mind what you really want. Some of y'all is beyond, you know, what you want anymore because spirit is just tired of it. All right. They're going to give you what you want. If you want a karmic, that's what they're going to give you. And you're going to live your life in hell with this karmic. Okay. You are. Didn't use protection on purpose just to trap you with a child. You know, if this ain't old news, old school, I don't know what this is. When are we going to learn that you can't have children just to trap a man? Okay, they don't, I mean, this new generation should know that by now. Possibly they probably don't care because, you know, they're getting free food. They're getting free month place to stay. They probably don't, and they're taking care of these karmics. They're taking care of them. Okay. Somebody's bipolar for some of you here. Somebody's got two different personalities. First, they nice as hell, and then they turn in right straight into the devil. It's like they conflicted. They go back and forth with their energy, and, uh, you know, they're, they're back and forth. They, they, they may be bipolar. They may need medication. An angel one minute and a devil the next. That's some type of mental issue. Somebody's going through somebody's stuff. Somebody's being nosy, okay? Somebody's being real nosy, going through things. These karmics are really, really acting up. You know, they some kind of material. They into material things, okay? They're a material girl. They're into material things. Oh, man. Some of y'all, you know, you got your property destroyed. They're out here destroying property. They may, they may be effing around with the uh, divine feminine stuff. If, if they catch you, they might, because somebody's watching somebody. We already seen that here. They're material. They only want the divine masculine for their money, whatever they can get to hold them up. And they need the divine feminine out of the way. So they use all kind of tactics here. Okay. This is slick bitch. Okay. This is slick bitch, y'all. She's slick or she thinks she is, but all this slick stuff she's doing is coming back on her. Okay, I see spirits like leading me to this karmic for some reason. Ooh, I love to control. I love to have control. I love to have. I love the control I have over you, y'all. Had to because my birds are tweeting. They like that. They like. They have control issue. They have to be right about 
everything. They have to be the ones calling the shot. Like a, the karmics are acting like mask, like men. Okay, they're acting like they're taking over. Like being like they want to be the ones their way or the highway. This is what this type of karmic is like. Look, they're obsessives. They're following. They're following you. They may be following the divine masculine around. Look at that obsessive following somebody. Look. Y'all need to be, for some of y'all need to be careful because this is like, a, um, to me, it's like that movie, um, uh, gosh, what was the name of it? I'll think about it, I'll get back with you, but, you know, it, it's like, that's obsessive. You feel like, please be careful when you're out and about because this person I'm getting the energy is real obsessive, really torn, and they're trying to get the divine masculine back any means necessary. Divine masculine may have not known this person was this far gone in their head because maybe they were ignoring the fact uh, through, you know, because the uh, divine uh, the karmic was using sexual magic or some type of magic to cover their eyes so they won't see who they truly are. They put up a good front for the divine masculine. Come to find out their screw is loose. They got a, a loose screw. And it took an only way for the divine masculine to see this is that they had to they had to kind of like back off and, and, and observe their ways, like observe them. And I'm hearing for some of the divine masculine, they got scared of this karmic, like their aggression and everything. They was kind of scared of them. They like, they know they had to take it easy with them or something to, to get them out of their hair. They had to take it easy or something because they're afraid. They got afraid of them because they didn't know what they might do. They may have, they might have threatened some of the divine masculines. They might have threatened to kill them or threatened to kill themselves. See, they're using manipulation. Oh, boy, but they're getting away, y'all. They're getting away if they're still tied up. They're getting away and they want to ask for forgiveness. That's up to y'all what y'all want to do. You know, it, it is your divine masculine, okay, or your divine feminine. So they're getting away and they want you to forgive them. There was plenty of red flags here for the divine masculine. Again, I just feel like some of them are were just sexually involved with this person. Overly, you know, this person could have been younger than them and they might have been living in a fantasy. This karma could have been telling them that they was going to make a big, bright future for them and all this. Um, and the reason why the divine masculine felt compelled with the karmic and being around them and seem like they never let them go they would let them take advantage of them is because this person was young and beautiful or something or handsome they was in their pride and matter of fact they just gravitated they just they just put somebody in their life like how they were. Like I said, whatever you put out in the universe, your intentions or whatever, that's what comes to you. So they manifest this karmic, okay? Just like we all manifest stuff in our life, whether it's good or bad, they've manifested it. But they're going through a transformation now. So you girls out there or guys out there with your divine feminine, give them time. Don't just rush back because they want to. they're going to ask for forgiveness and stuff like that. But just don't rush back into it. Believe me, don't rush back into it because they're still going through transformation. They're still got a lot to learn. They still not saying they haven't learned. They're going through the process, but they're just not ready. It, don't just run back. Give them time. Give them space to see if they really going to go through through with this transformation for one, or if they if, if they really are your uh, divine uh, masculine. But they're going through a transformation. Blinded by what I thought was love. Hmm. Somebody somebody out there, look, like I told y'all, that card that came up about lurk, here's lurking and everything. Look, lurking, um, obsessive, somebody following somebody. Some of y'all are going, to, are going through that, whether you know it or not. Somebody could be in the background just watching every little thing. 
some of them are very obsessed and, and, and going crazy right now at this time. So some of you, you may need to go ahead and get a restraining order on this person. Some of you are going to just have to stop feeling sorry for this crazy bitch right here. Okay? This one that may put your life in jeopardy. You're going to hold back on that for them to jump on you? You see her with that knife? Or whatever that thing is, Sling Blade or something? Y'all remember the movie Sling Blade? It's whoever this is, they ain't playing. They're lurking, they're watching, they're waiting for opportunity to come in. They're ready to hurt the divine masculine or the divine feminine. Some of y'all got a real whack job. and Some of y'all going to really regret. That's why I say divine feminine or masculine. Is This is y'all, you need to kind of like back off for a while. Back off. Because they just may be, you know, doing something where they're teaming up on you. You're going to team up on y'all. You know, they might get, you know, maybe they in a karmic relationship because or using somebody else. And they may team up because this is a if y'all watch this movie, I forgot the name of it. But these two were like two nutballs together and they teamed up to, to destroy people. You know, two dark energies together here. OK, two dark energy, the di di dynamic duo. So they may be plotting on you guys, the d divine masculine, divine feminine. So be careful. This is a heavy energy to me. I'm hearing the word bad girl. Well, that was one of the words I heard from my birds. Bad girl, bad girl, bad girl. Oh, I'm hearing something about a black book, too. A black book. Y'all know what a black book is. That's mostly for your divine masculine. Right? So, like I said, somebody's got secrets. I'm, it may sound like it's all over with to get, but you, you know, these are just messages. They're for the collective. Whether it's, it's it could be for anything. Be honest with you. I'm kind of confused, but you know, I know that I'm just going to deliver the truth. And it's supposed to be confusing to me because it's just coming out. All right, whatever the messages are, are just coming out. It is for the collective. Okay, so. I'm hearing some of you, some of you, some of them, divine masculine, feminine, karmic, is at work messing with somebody at work. Ooh, that's not a good thing. Wow, that's not a good thing. I'm hearing for some of you, it's like a boss, like they a boss of yours, and you. that may be some of you reason that you're scared to leave this person because you're afraid that they can take away your job. They might could do something to scrutinize your job, but if I was y'all, I wouldn't worry about that. I wouldn't worry about that. You still got to be strong. You still, you got to, you got to put a stop to this karmic energy because they're out to get blood. Spirit is watching over you. Yes, but they want you to take a certain responsibility on this thing. They're going to watch over you, but you can't just sit back and just let somebody run over top of you or treat your um, divine feminine any kind of way either. You got to take some kind of responsibility, some kind of control over this situation if you want it to be right. I'm hearing something about flowers. Love hurts. <laughs> Some of y'all are going to be um, so torn up and beat up by love that you feel like you're not going to give your whole self. You're going to hold back your emotions for someone who don't deserve that. Don't do that. Don't let this situation do that because you just got to. If you accept the responsibility, you wouldn't do nothing like that. Like, oh. I brought this on myself, you know what I'm saying? I just got to change, you know, my attitude, change my ways, change what I, uh, whatever inside of me uh, that geared me to this person. I got to change my energy. I got to want more. I got to want better for myself. I have to learn to love me. And then you won't have, you won't be where you're hiding your emotions or afraid or something that somebody's going to leave. You, you can't think that way. Because what you think about, you bring about, y'all. <sighs> Some of y'all dealing with someone who's one-sided. They're, they're not in the relationship the way they say that they are. They're one-sided. It's probably always been one-sided. And 
You need to think about this. Somebody feels, somebody is making somebody feel like they care about them and love them and all this, but all the while they don't. They're not, especially if they're not putting any, you guys should, can know this by, um, if they putting in any, any energy, if they're, if you guys are energetically together, if you are together with someone, this could be from the past. It could be something that happened in the past where it was one-sided, you know, you just gotta put it in your own content here, but I'm just picking up an energy that a relationship is one-sided. It could be the divine masculine and the divine and the uh, karmic, and it's one-sided. The karmic ain't loving the divine masculine. They're not. They're not in love. It's a one-sided situation here, and, and and you know that's why I feel like the divine masculine is going to get away from this person. They're going to realize it's one-sided. You know, and then they're going to want to be exclusive, okay? They're, they're going to want to be exclusive with the divine uh, feminine. There's something here about somebody being very robotic. I seem like I got this in that first divine message. Somebody keeps doing the same thing over and over again. Robotic, you know, somebody's like not operating on their emotions either. No, I'm saying there's no emotions or something has gone. The illusionist too, okay? Somebody scorned. Again, I told y'all, watch out. Some of you need to watch out for this karmic stuff. They are screwed. They're screwed and they're scorned, okay? They're ready to start some havoc. Somebody going to come in with some havoc, okay? They're going to start something. They're going to try to start something, okay? So y'all need to prepare yourself for it. It didn't have to go this far because the stuff should have been ended a long time ago. Let's see what this karmic up to. And I'm going to use an all-girls deck here called Girls Drawing Girls. I don't think they have any more for sale. I think they're out, I believe, the last time I checked. I was lucky to get this one. Like I said, I'm outside, you guys, so excuse any of the noise or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. The karmic's under judgment. They're being called out for the dumb stuff that they're doing here. They're being called out, okay? They're being called out. Uh, and the lovers. There's, this lovers talks about a choice. It could be a Gemini. It could be a Sagittarius here. Got two major arcana cards. So this is a major event happening. So the King of Cups is here. So I'm picking up a male energy, divine masculine. Somebody here is, you know, going to tell the truth here regarding a situation. It could be regarding this. Because see, in this deck, if you notice, in the lover's deck on here, this devil looking thing or whatever this is in the middle, I don't, I'm looking at it as it's supposed to be an angel. Okay. And the angel is got strings on both of these two people, right? Got strings on them. Sorry, y'all. And I feel like the angel is trying to bring the divine masculine and divine feminine together. I don't feel like they're together right now because they're, look, they're trying, the, the angel is trying to bring them together. But there's this karmic in the way. There has to be some judgment being passed first. Some judgment has to has to come through, and and, I, and then I feel like you know with the lovers card, it's going to bring the divine masculine back to the divine feminine, because some truth is going to be told. Some truth is going to be told. All right. Okay, divine ancestors, can you tell us what's going on with this divine uh, with this uh, karmic? What's going on with this karmic? 
what's the karmic want to say? What do they want to say in this situation? What do they want to say right now behind what they're going through? What do they want to say? What is this karmic doing and what do they want to say? What does the karmic think about the divine masculine? Oh, Ace of Pentacles. They thinking like the shiny coin. They're thinking about the money. That's what they're thinking about, okay? When it comes... Okay. Seven of Wands, okay? They thinking about the money, but I feel like they get blocked from that. Like all that glitters ain't gold. They're getting they're not they're gonna be blocked from that energy. Seven of Wands is about protection. Wow, it went way over there. I'm gonna get that. Yeah. Six of Swords and the Tower. Look. There's the Six of Swords in the Tower. Sorry with the glare. Yeah, somebody's blocking themselves. Because they already, I believe, divide feminine, I mean, divide masculine. This is how to just, <laughs> karmic is, is feeling about the, the, the divine masculine. They want, they want in for the money and money only because that's what the pentacles are about. They want to be taken care of. They want to, what they call that? Leech. They want to be a leech, okay, to, to because they're looking at that divine masculine as being something that they can always get something out of. But the divine masculine is blocking them, okay? They're, like, blocking it. And they're moving on. They're moving on with the Six of Swords. And they're going to take this. They're moving on to this tower moment. They're letting it all fall down. That's what they're doing. They're letting it all fall down with that tower being there. They're like, look, this is, I just want to let this thing fall apart. I don't even care. Just let it go down. I'm tired of holding, trying to hold on to this because I, I know what they want me for now. Now I see the light. Look, <laughs> the three of swords. And that karma is going to suffer a heartbreak here, okay? Because, see, things didn't turn out the way they thought. So they're going to be kind of like in a heartbreak situation. See that sword? It's like they got cut. That sword, see that sword right there that's right, going right through the neck, it looks like, in the back to the neck? So communication is going to be cut off because swords is about communication right communication is going to be cut off this person is going to be cut off this person is going to be suffering is going to be hurting okay because e swords do, does hurt once they puncture in somebody's going to be hurt 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 here's the king of wands king of wands like i don't take don't play with me don't play with me. I'm not the one to be played with, okay? I took enough. Enough is enough. I'm done with all this stuff, okay? See who lasts last is what I'm saying here. What I'm asking to say to the karmic. See who lasts last. See who lasts last. Okay, what does this karmic think about this now? What are they doing? What are they up to? Mm, doing some strange thing for a piece of change. See, they thought they were going to use their ass and their titties and their good looks or whatever. This person could be a blonde head that some of y'all know. Could be a redhead person. Could be brunette. We got all colors. A green. Somebody could wear, be wearing a green wig. Uh, a, a, a auburn color wig. A black wig. They could be, maybe they just switch up a lot. Who knows? But Somebody could have, uh, like I said, um, they thought they was going to grab the bag, honey. They thought they was going to get taken care of. Look at this person. Look at this. They look like a hooker to me on, in this deck. Doing something strange for a piece of change. You know, selling, giving you some booty so they can um, look good. You know, keeping their looks up, keeping their appearance up. This person is all about appearances. I'm telling you right now, they're about appearances, the way they look, um, in order to keep this facade going for themselves. Because they are much, I'm hearing spirits say, lusty, musty, but they, but they musty. See, he said musty, lusty, musty. They are luscious or whatever, or tempting, very tempting. But their power is being taken away from them because they're using it the wrong way. Nine of Wands, see? fire energy here where I feel like somebody is making a plan here. Somebody here is guarding themselves. 
So we have guarding themselves and protecting themselves here. Somebody's protecting themselves and guarding themselves from this person. Like somebody might try to come back in again with using sexuality to get, get, get for money in exchange here. But somebody's like, <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Get off of my steps. Get off of my porch. Get off of my, get out of my house. I don't know how you got in here anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, the, uh, the karmic is like, please, please look at my sexy body. It's only for you. I want to give you my loving. I want to give you my loving. Look at look at me. Look, look, I took all my clothes off. Look. Look, you know you like me like this. You know you like this. Tempting the mat. Tempting them. Tempting them. But all the while, they just want that money, honey. They want that money. Y'all want to sell out to this here karmic? Go right on ahead. But I feel like here it is, like Masculine saying, like, you know what? If you don't get all if you don't get your naked butt out of my face. I'm, I'm, I'm called 911. That's, that's what I hear. That's what, that's what the divine masculine is saying to the karmic. I'm calling 911 if you don't get out of here. Like right about now. Uh, well, I might be think it might be some kind of kind of this person wants to come in with that communication with this type of attitude using their sexuality. Okay, here's the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Like they're like. I'm telling y'all. This is a masculine energy, and this masculine is like, this, you know, this, I'm hearing two ways here. The masculine could be like, this is what they used to do with this person, but now it's like, they're, they're kind of like, no, I'm good, I'm good. Sorry about that, y'all. I don't know where that's coming from, be honest with you. My phone is in the house. We're just going to have to wait. Do y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that? It'll stop in a minute. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Uh, the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is someone who is very trustworthy, very honest. They're like a, a father figure, okay? Um... They're very giving, caring, and this person knows that. That's why they're coming towards the king, the, the divine masculine, because they know that. They already know, but it's not like they care about them. It's not like they care about them. All they care about is money. You see all these pentacles running through this reading here? This is the, this is the karmic. They care about money and money only. They're like, in divine timing, in time, I am. It's like it's like they kind of like got the they got the divine masculine figured out, or think they got them figured out in some kind of way when it comes to their money. Because all they do is take the money and run. Nine of Pentacles is somebody who is uh, independent. All right, or is this this? Divine masculine saying, you know what? No, I, I'm uh, no, I'm gonna keep my money to myself. I, I, you know, I'm good. I'm good. Ten of Pentacles. This karmic, I'm telling y'all. Look, divine masculine. I know you kind of know this by now. If you don't, you should. This person wants money, and they may be getting it from different places as well. I'm hearing that too. They may be getting stuff from different places to keep their self looking like they so the queen and so independent. 
And I'm also hearing the karmic is trying to be like the divine feminine. Like they know the divine feminine is really prosperous for real, for real. They're not faking it. They don't go around asking and begging people for money. They don't do strange things for change. They work for it. They work hard for it. I'm also hearing this karmic may be moved or live somewhere away from the divine masculine or something like that. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is like having it all. Seven of Swords. This is some sneaky... This person is sneaky... They think they're getting away with something when it comes to finances. That's what's happening here. Somebody may have moved away because of stealing and they don't want nobody to tell on them. Hmm. Kind of took the money and got ghost or something. And, mm. and may have taken it back home. They may have a family already with this Ten of Pentacles. They might already have a family. And they kind of snuck away with whatever they got here from somebody or tried to get. Okay. Yeah, here's the Knight of Cups. Yeah, they, they got a younger person or something. There's somebody that they got or married to or live with. Yeah, they're they're this person is immature. They're very immature emotionally, especially. Mentally and emotionally, they're immature because see, they're trying to get away with stuff. They come in, they try to take stuff and get away with it. And um they <laughs> this Knight of Cups is probably who they dealing with on the side or ha or dealing with in a romantic type situation somebody younger they may be younger dealing with somebody older with the king of pentacles that's their that they look at that as being stability for them that's who they you know play like a hooker with or something like that and get money from them but something here the, the game is flipping around or something here here's the five of wands So, this person is starting conflict. Because I feel like something blew up in their face. Something blew up in their face here. And they're trying they're they're trying to cause conflict now. Here's the and competition. They don't cause problems or competition in a home situation because this is about a home. It's about a family. But there's some 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 grief and competition going on with the family here because something this karmic done, sneaky. Somebody got caught doing something here. I don't know why spirit ain't showing me. And then and it's causing conflict within the home. Look. The five of wands and the four of wands. The five, uh, the five of wands is conflict, fighting, or something like that in a home. Four of wands is a home, a family. Somebody got somebody. I got to look at this really, really good, okay? Okay. <laughs> The King of Swords. Somebody got told off. Somebody got found out. The truth came out. Look, the truth came out. Because the King of Swords is about truth and clarity. Saying the truth. Speaking the truth. The truth coming out. Um, it's about being... Uh, it could be having something to do with the law. About a cop. Some cops. Y'all got to hit the comment section. Something about the cops or law or something like that. Somebody did something. Here's the hangman, and it, you know, it, look, 
It caused somebody to pause. It put a, a, a monkey wrench in somebody's, in this karmic situation. They're hanging upside down. They caught in a trap. Look, see that? They caught... Somebody got caught in their own trap. That's what I'm hearing with this hangman. Somebody got caught. See how they see how you trap? You know how they put the thing down in the water and they trap the fish? This is a mermaid. So somebody got caught. Somebody got caught in their own trap. It, it, it could have been the law. They could have been doing something here. Somebody could have stole some money from somebody. Something. Yep, here's the moon. It's in reverse. The secrets don't come out. Whatever it was, it's done came out. It's out. The stuff is out in the open. The moon in reverse is out. Secrets are out. Whatever was hidden is revealed now. Page of Pentacles. Now somebody wants to try to apologize. Somebody's trying to weasel their way out of this. Whatever this situation they got caught doing, happening here, they're trying to weasel their way out. But look at that. It's a page. It's just a baby. They don't mean it. They don't even mean it. Their apology is, is like a baby apology. Like, huh, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what I did, but I'm sorry. You don't know what you did? Are you kidding me, Karmic? You don't know what you did. Sorry, y'all. My stuff hanging on here. Sorry about that. You kidding me? You mean to tell me you don't know what you did? You And it's exposed here? It's already being shown. You don't know what you did. You got caught up. Okay? You got caught up in your little games, you know? <sighs> karmic, karmic, karmic. Are you going to ever learn... So, this is what I have for you, Carmen. This is what Spirit wants to say and your ancestors who's getting ready to wreak havoc on that ass. They want to say, this is where the fun stuff happens. It's only just begun. It's only just begun, Karmic. They're saying this is where the fun stuff happens, where they take over and they'll show you something. Let me show you something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Karmic got caught up, probably screwing around. She probably was married for some of them. Some of them probably had somebody already, and they screwing around here. They might have got caught um, in, um, in their mess. Somebody found out something. Something came out, and it may have been about this Karmic sleeping around, having a, multiple affairs with people. Everything came, some it could have been for I'm I'm hearing like somebody could have uh, told somebody what this karmic was doing. Whoever they were dealing with, they thought that they was the only one, and come to find out they wasn't, and it caused problems out the house. They might have got put out the house because this karmic likes to be taken care of. Whoever we talking about, they like to be taken care of. They like to be put on a pedestal. They like attention, and I feel like. You know, they got caught doing some strange things to this, to somebody here, and they got caught, and, it, and, and somebody went ham on this person, all right? This person may have went off on this person and put their hands on them, or vice versa. It could have been a real bad argument, physical, because the Five of Wands is about physical altercations, Okay. Where people are putting their hands on each other. Not necessarily. In most cases, it could be where somebody could be internally conflicted. Catching somebody off the guard. Um, 
something really, really blew up here in the karmic's life, and they ha and, and they come up with they trying to apologize to somebody. They might have got kicked again. I'm feeling like the karmic got kicked out of a home that they was with with somebody else, whether it was their husband or their living mate. Okay, I feel like they may have got kicked out. Then I feel like the karmic tried to run back to divine masculine, talking about the, the, the her person she was with. They breaking up, and you know she's done. And I feel like the masculine heard this a lot of times over and over again they're done and and, and it can i live with you and you know trying to bail her way out and shit and then giving a halfway apology like she ain't never done shit like uh well, i'm sorry but i don't know what i did because she's so damn um narcissistic she ain't gonna take responsibility of that i think the divine master picked up on it. somebody might have told him man don't go for that shit don't go for that line because I'm going to tell you what happened. It could have been a friend of a friend that told the divine masculine what this karmic was up to. Why she was coming up to him. Now, she's sorry. She's serious this time. We left here where our ass got kicked out. Okay? Now she wants to go to her other option and run game. But I feel like that didn't take place. Let's see what the masculine got to say about the karmic. Okay, ancestors, please give us the messages. We really appreciate it. Give us the messages. What's going on with the divine masculine? How's he? What do you think about this karmic? Five of wands. He's had it. Okay, with the five of wands here, he's had it. You know, he's like, this is too much. You know, this is drama. All this is is drama, all right? And, you know, justice, the justice came on. He's like, they, he's going to cut this shit off, okay? And that's going to be the end of that. He's making a, ju a judgment call or justice is by his side right now. It's like, it's like the table karma. He's looking at this like, you're going to get your karma for this. Or the divine masculine is getting, uh, they're going to get karma. F uh, uh, I'm sorry, the, the that's how he's looking at the, the like he knows they're going to get their karma for this for what they've done he knows that looking at justice in the upright definitely he may take the I'm getting another story here that they could have took them to court because of some drama or some fighting that went on it could have been some fighting that went on this karmic could have went off on this uh, divine masculine, like re literally put their hands on him or something, and then they had to call the law, okay? The law had to be called in and, and get this crazy person, the crazy karmic, towed away. She had to get towed away. She probably might have went to jail for some cases. Hit the comment section, let me know. Look, put a, a hangman again here. That's what the divine is saying. Look, uh, off with your head. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're putting a stop to this. This karmic got in a, a situation where, you know, it, it, it's they got caught in a trap. Okay, <laughs> I feel like the divine masculine did a, a 360 on this karmic or something, or gave them a dose of their own medicine or something like that. It was like they was already done with them. And, and and I feel like they found out something or already knew something. The divine masculine already knew something. Or all, always, when they was, it, it's almost like they was waiting on this moment to happen. Can I say that? That's what I'm hearing spirit say that the divine masculine was waiting for this moment to happen. Somebody is very smart. They was using their smarts this time. They got out of the clutches of the, the karmic and what they were doing. And they start using their mind. And once they done that, they was waiting for something to happen here. And they use, look, King of Wands. You know, they they like, I ain't taking no stuff. Look, uh-uh. Still hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put my foot in it. <laughs> oh, my. Um, yeah, I feel like the Divine Masculine put the, their foot in the karmic's ass unexpectedly because they always used to coming back for this um 
divine masculine to do everything for i think it kind of flipped on them and they didn't expect it because they're they think that they all that in a bag of chips that's what they think they think they could just do anything they want to they thought they had this divine masculine sprung and they did for a while they did i ain't gonna lie about it they did but they did it through uh deception they was deceiving them lying to them filling their head with empty promises but i feel like i just feel like the divine masculine was waiting for this moment to get let this divine I, I feel like they let them hang themselves look got the hangman here i feel like they let them hang themselves that's what they did and then i like now nah, now how you like me now that's what the divine masculine is saying like you know how you like me now okay how you like me now because you thought this stuff was going to, you know, be repetitive. Or it was like the divine masculine was like seeing the, the, the repetitiveness of this whole situation. And then they got a clue or something from an outsider, somebody who knew this person and told them, gave them some insight on what was going on with this, this karmic shit. And the divine masculine was like, okay, got you. Thanks. Got it. Now the now the karmic is suffering. Now they in despair. Okay. Now they all up in their emotions. Four of cups. Now they done missed out. They know they missed out on the opportunity with their bullshit. They know it. This reading is for a divine masculine that kind of made a mistake, made a wrong choice. You know, we all do that kind of stuff. But some, uh, uh, you know, that one I did the last time with the divine masculine, the one I was really, really hard on, uh, they was doing that on purpose. That was a karmic, I mean, that was a masculine that was doing stuff on purpose. This one, I feel like God uh, just made a wrong decision. That's all. They thought they they were they were played some kind of way, okay? They they was playing on somebody's emotions here, but here's the Ace of Cups, okay? I'm telling you, this karmic is is all messed up. She done. I feel like she done lost her. Ma if she was married to someone and she was sneaking around on the person she was married to, I feel like that's gone because she's in despair right here. She missed out on an opportunity. All right, because three cups are, are you know, three cups are in this card that are spilt over. So that's telling me there was a third party situation and it's all to hell now because all three cups are spilt over. So she done lost it with everybody that she was playing this game with. She if she was married, that's ended. OK, because that to, the Ace of Cups is the marriage card to me. This is what the, the divine masculine is, is knowing now. He's seeing all this stuff now. He knows. He's like, rest in peace. Okay? Rest in peace. The ace of swords. I'm sorry, the four of swords. Sorry about that. Somebody just put an ending to this. Look, they and they cough and like, you know, now the divine masculine is like now that this is put to an end now this is an ending you know dead and buried and everything now i can rest now i can have my peace of mind that's what i'm feeling that they're saying now i can have my peace of mind this is dead and gone it's ended coffin closed six feet under for your ass not literally just saying it could be for some somebody could have lost it not you know hey i'm sorry but it could be but now I'm not picking that up enough. I'm not picking enough energy of it being a, a toy. It's a, it's a, it's a relief for somebody here for the, for the divine masculine. That's how he's looking at this situation. Like it's a relief for him. So, uh, so we got. The, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was waiting for that plane to go by. We got. I'm near an airplane place too. So we got the six of swords. So my, yeah, they're moving on. Yup, the divine masculine's moved on, okay? They moved on. Six of 
swords. He's going to use, took his experience, his, used his learn, taking this as an experience and moving forward. Yep. He got the strength now. Okay. The universe gave him strength and courage to move forward out of this situation. It took a lot of strength to get out of this because this karmic was a hot mess. You hear me? And I mean a hot mess. <laughs> yep, the death card. Now the divine masculine is healing now. They're changing. They're doing a transformation. They're 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 cleaning their self up. They're cleaning up their act after this. They threw this stuff in the trash. After they threw this this person in the trash can. That's one, two major arcana cards right there. They're doing a rebirth. They're transforming their self, divine uh, feminine. Because they had some type of clarity. They seen things for what it truly is. Yeah, it was a lot they had to cut through to get here. And they had to uh, 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 have a lot of strength. But they got there. They got clarity now. And they just cut shit off. That no longer served them. And they're, they're turning into a beautiful butterfly. They are transforming their life. This is the Ace of Cups. They are coming out beautiful as hell. They're coming out wanting love. This is the Ace of Cups. No, it ain't. The Ten of Cups. Same thing, that's happiness and joy. Now they're moving on to their happiness and joy. That they, they, They've seen through all this stuff. They done cut out what don't longer serve them. I'm talking about they cut it out, y'all. They cut it out of their life. And now they are they want to enjoy family life with you. That's what they want to do. I'm trying to tell you. Okay, Holy Spirit, please. What else is it you want us to know? I would like to leave that Ace of... Yeah, it is the Ace of Cups. I'm sorry. That's the Ace of Swords. So you got two Aces here. And the Ace of Cups is about happiness, joy, love. Love of self through this transformation that this Divine Masculine made. Learn to love himself. He's cut away a lot of people, placing things that no longer serve him. With this greedy person here, this queen of pentacles who's, who's greedy and all they think about is money. Free themselves from that. Or for some of you, I'm hearing the divine masculine is like they happy and in love and they're, you know, they're going back to, they're going back home. They're going back home to the divine feminine. That's what they're doing. The two of cups, yep. They're going back home to their loved one. This person who works hard and uh, put in a lot of effort and energy into this. Um, this queen of pentacles who is like very, very strong and very independent. Very prosperous. He knows he's going back to who he, his divine masculine here. Two of cups, that's soulmate energy as well. Yeah, he gone back home, y'all. If he hasn't gone back home yet, you know, give him some time, okay? He has cut this person out of his life finally. Spirit was, on, you know, said, okay, karma's done. You done reap what you sown. Now we're going to help you out. Now this karmic got to reap what they sow, okay? So we're going we're gonna to help you out here. and We're going to get this monkey off your back, okay? Because I know you done had enough. We know you had enough. And we know you mean well. Now we know that you're sorry for what you've done to the divine feminine. We know that you are. You learned your lesson learned. Lesson learned. You made it even made a transformation out of it. It's like, you know what? You got a, a divine a feminine. When you see this person again, you're gonna be they're gonna be unrecognizable to you. And what I'm mean by that is that they're gonna they're they gonna they they went through this transformation, learn to love themselves and everything. This person, this divine this uh this person that they had in their life really taught them a big lesson about loving themselves because the reason why they was in this was because they didn't love themselves. They was wanting the easy way out. 
They was wanting the easy way out because they was they they knew that they was in love with you. They may have never had a love like this before, and it scared the shit out of them. So they decided to just uh, take the easy route. But they come to find out it this person became obsessive to them. They didn't expect that or seen that coming. They become obsessive over their money. They wanted to use them. They was freeloading off of them, and it was like that was it was just became too much work for the divine uh, masculine. He didn't expect all that, but it all had to happen. It all had to happen, y'all. You got to understand, it all had to happen for a reason and a purpose, and you're the one that's going to get all reap the benefits out of it. You're going to get the best of the best out of this person. With that ace of pentacles, you're gonna have you're gonna have the new beginning with this divine masculine. He's gonna give you everything, which he should have done in the first place. But you know, like I said, everything happens for a reason. We all gotta go through life lessons. Some of these, some of them, like y'all see my last video, you know, that was different. This is different story, different people, different energies coming in. Yeah, you're going to have it all here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Going to have it all. Ten of Pentacles. That's having it all. See, Divine Masculine has learned their lesson, whoever these Divine Masculines are. These Divine Masculines has transformed their life big time. Can I put it all up here? They have went through total transformation. Total. And they coming home to mama, honey. Okay? They giving, they're going to give you their all this time. Not some, not a little, not middle. They're going to give it all because they done transformed their life. They done cut out all the bullshit in their life. And they have changed. Like I said, when they come back to y'all, divine masculine, I mean feminine, <laughs> y'all ain't going to know who this person is. Y'all ain't going to know it. You ain't going to know who they are. They done changed so much. They're going to they're gonna water. They're going to take care of this relationship. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to nourish it. They're going to nourish it. They're going to put their all. They're going to put everything into this. They're going to nourish it. They've learned their lesson. My God, this this energy here. I'm loving it. I'm loving this energy rather than the last one. That was that was some tough energy. The last one, but this one is beautiful. Congratulations, divine masculine. I'm so proud of you in this energy. Of really learning. The last one was like the divine masculine, whoever that energy was then, they wasn't learning. So they're going to be going through a hell of a lot of karma, possibly not even making it out of it. You know, some of them might end up in uh, mental institutions, like because they just don't want to learn their lesson. Here's the Knight of Wands. Like, <laughs> you're making this happen really, really fast, okay? You up in Adam, Adam, and you making this happen. Quickly, with the quickness. You're not playing around here, Divine Masculine. You're not playing around. <laughs> See? And, ooh, card's starting to fly. See, there's the Wheel of Fortune. So, this is a fortunate situation that's going to happen with the Divine Masculine. Everything's going to come together. Look, y'all, give them some time. They are coming back to claim you, and they're going to give you it all, Divine Masculine. They're giving you everything. Everything that you so-called desire. Again, I'm just picking up an energy that this person is going to be changed so much, you're not going to recognize them. You you, you know what? It's going to melt your little heart. You, you, some of you are going to be like, um, uh-uh-uh, I'm not taking him out after what he done to me. Uh-uh, I'm not going back to him. You're going to be, if this is your divine masculine, you're going to be a, so attracted to this person's change. That all that, uh-uh, I'm not, and this is going to change. You're going to be like, oh, what? Really? Bat your eyes. Because <laughs> he's not going to hold back, okay? If he holds back and all this kind of crap, then we're talking about the reading that I did, the last reading that I did. He's that type of, he's that. He's a karmic. You know, he was a divine master, but he turned karmic and then he can't turn back because he don't know how to, uh, he don't know how to, um, he don't, he don't know how to learn his lessons. All right. He don't know how to learn his lessons. Do y'all want one on the, um, 
how you how you I don't I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do a little use my deck here and uh so out a couple of cards and see what happens here. Okay, spirit, what are the exit? What's the last things you want to say here? I'm gonna use my deck here. Answer answer oracle love and romance answer oracle cards you guys are welcome to, to have these purchase them and have them in the comfort of your own home if you ever need to know anything okay yeah have faith spirit saying have faith okay have faith give love a chance oh see that's what i'm saying did i just say that some of y'all gonna be acting all tough and all this rough and tough with your afro puffs yay go on with your bad self but you just gonna be spirit saying look give it a chance they say it, give it a chance if they say give it a chance you good okay if spirit say no then don't but they're saying give it a chance they're saying have fun with this person you're gonna have fun be playful in your relationship so it's going to be a lot of playfulness a lot of letting loose letting go don't don't hinder this person like i said they're going to change so much that you're not even going to be thinking about what they took you through that's what i just heard spirit say you're not divine feminine this is for you they're not you're not going to think about what they've done to you that they're that's how much they're going to change it's going to be like man Wow, it makes me want to cry like a love story. Online dating. So some of you may be just, you know, talking to each other online. Maybe that's how it's going to all start. You're going to, you know, find each other online or something and start a conversation and stuff like that. And you're going to open up the, uh, the lines of communication again. It's going to be really fun. See, happiness. This person's going to make you happy, okay? Your divine masculine is going to make you happy, divine feminine, if, in case you wanted to know. All right? Well, that's all I got, y'all. It's an uh, hour and 26 minutes. I think that was really, really good. I'm going to come back with another video with things that I want to tell you guys about, okay? Again, love you guys, and, and thank you all for... Um, um, like I said, just hit the like button on your way out. That's all I ask for, okay? Um, so the video can get out there to uh, around the algorithm, they call it, okay? Thank you, all you newcomers. I really hope you stick around and see what's coming up on Simply Love's channel. I do a lot of different things here. Um, take care of yourselves. Um, let me know if it resonated with you, okay? Let me know how you feel in the comments and Stay tuned for the next video explaining to things that we're going to be doing here on this channel. Take care. I love you guys. Bye.